Hello and welcome everyone to uh, these series of conversations that we are doing with youth change makers across countries in the Asia Pacific. We have with us today Joshua Dilawar, who works in Pakistan, and uh, he runs an initiative called the Artivism Academy, which uses art for social change. Uh, these conversations that we are doing with youth change makers is uh, ahead of the regional youth uh, conference that's happening in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia later this month, hosted by Arrow, which brings together youth change makers working on innovative in initiatives in their communities on sexual and reproductive health and rights. Welcome, Joshua. Tell us a bit about your project. Uh, thank you so very much for having me uh, in this great conversation. So my name is Joshua Dalawa and I'm from Pakistan uh, and uh, I've been working in development sector for social change since 2012. And I've been working uh, on different thematic areas like human rights, peace, uh, social justice and youth empowerment and sexual and reproductive health and rights. And since 2015, I've been particularly focusing and working on sexual and reproductive health and rights, family planning, HIV AIDS prevention and access to safe abortion. And uh, last year, I initiated a social enterprise with the support and uh, after the uh, attending a training program of uh, Aero, it's Artivism Academy. And uh, this social enterprise, which I came up with, it's, uh, it's an academy edifying arts for activism, advocacy, and social change. And uh, we are basically utilizing and using different artistic mediums. And I personally have performed 1,500 theater performances in different corners of Pakistan since 2000. And 12 and I have trained more than 35 theater groups in Pakistan and uh, that's why I came up with this academy so that we can provide young people a capacity building platform a platform where they can learn artistic skills and how they can utilize their artistic skills for social change so Artivism Academy is a platform which aims to encourage social change strengthen arts for social change empower and deepen commitment inform larger society about social issues harmonize social activists within the moment inform internally to express or reinforce values and ideas. It informs externally as a more effective way to communicate movement ideals to uh, people outside the moment. It also enables people to enact and uh, enact moment goals directly uh, historicized to invent, uh, invent and tell, retell the history of the moment. Um, Wait, tell me a bit about how the project works level. and the community that you're working in. So basically under the Artivism Academy, we are using different artistic mediums like filmmaking, theater, music, and painting to spread awareness on different health components. And uh, like currently we are also initiating and uh, basically conducting a project in which we are conducting theater performances in different areas, uh, particularly two districts of Punjab. And uh, we are uh, conducting the, this project with the support of a well-known organization in Pakistan. And uh, this theater performances are focusing on uh, sexual and productive health and rights, and particularly to spread awareness on birth spacing and family planning dynamics. So uh, under this project, we are engaging young people from grassroots level as we are conducting this these theater performances, or we can also call it like open mic sessions. So uh, each activity is for like two hours. So we go uh, to the remote areas and engage young people from the grass, grassroots level. And we, you know, start discussion around the issues they are having, not particularly on the, you know, at, not at the beginning, particularly for the section of health and rights, uh, because still uh, these issues are taboo in Pakistan, unfortunately. So we initiate with the common goals, which they are easy to talk about. So then we, uh, you know, connect them with the theater performance. Then we can tell them, part, we tell the participants that, okay, let's try to get the answers of your uh, problems and issues from theater performance. And after theater performance, we generate discussion that, yes, our health issues are also important along with the issue of education, along with the issue of development, along with the issue of uh, unemployment. So our health and access to healthcare services and youth-friendly health services also important. So that's so how this project response is working. Uh, are you getting from the community? Uh, well, uh, fortunately, it's quite positive because arts and particularly theater, we also we are also adding at, uh, you know musical touch in the theater performance, like singing and all that, uh, just to make sure that people are in, engaged with us. And uh, uh, people replied, and people still. Uh, they are appreciating the uh, medium we are using because they said that, uh, first of all, the medium we are using is quite impactful because it's long lasting and it's easy for us to remember. And secondly, that the information you are giving is quite important because we don't talk about it. 
even at our homes we don't talk about in our society even if if even if we have issues we, there is no platform there is there are no people whom we can talk and uh, whom we can ask for help uh, for our healthcare issues and all that so uh, i think uh, people were quite happy and uh, as we are still conducting this project so people gave quite positive feedback and they said that such activities should be continued in the remote areas uh, unfortunately the areas they are living in because they have very little to like little to no platforms in their in their areas so when you we uh, you know talk about issues related to sexual and reproductive health and rights which are you know like generally taboo in a society so uh, how do you uh, you know counter that so uh, uh like uh, as i said that talking directly upon it it's 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 not it's it's difficult right so we try to connect people and first we try uh, we try to create a conducive and friendly environment a safe space for young people to talk about the issues because i think that uh, for everyone including my myself i'm still young and and still under 30 what we need is the safe space a space where we can trust a person whom we can trust that okay if you're talking and if i'm talking about issue if i'm talking about my personal issues uh, my privacy is being respected and is is being cared of so we try to create conducive and safe environment first then we try to talk about uh, the issues which are normalized which they can talk about then we can connect the issues and uh, about sexual reproductive health and rights and in the first meeting we don't talk about all the parts all the components of sexual reproductive health and rights because it's not easy for them to engulf right and uh, obviously they have to you know uh, process the information and to keep the information so we try to you know keep the discussion uh, simple in the beginning so you know uh, they can uh, get the idea and they can generate the discussion then in different meetings we try to you know give more proper information and all that and we so also try also to engage the film making and stuff like other forms of art yeah. apart from theater yes so like uh, in the end of 2021 we also conducted a workshop on the theater, uh, theater and filmmaking right and in the filmmaking component we uh, invited a filmmaker who conducted and uh, who basically taught about the technicalities of the filmmaking how to interview how to record the interview how to utilize the cameras how to you know you know frame the camera and all that so after that uh, we uh, we gave the uh, task to people to participate to uh, you know make their small videos so and uh, we are still processing on that and uh, we are also planning to conduct the second series of the filmmaking workshop in pakistan so yeah wonderful so uh, about you know the community that you are reaching out to is about how big so uh, currently like as i said that we initiated this academy in uh, like uh, in the last quarter of 2021 so since that time we have reached more than 200 females and 150 males uh, till now and uh, we are trying to reach more people in the coming years with the support of different partners and different organizations so yeah excellent so uh, when you say it's working and people are responding i mean if you can give uh, one or two examples of where you felt that uh, people were really uh, you know able to come away feeling enriched like you know you were able to bust mm-hmm. a certain myth or a misconception so well recently like uh, we conducted two theater performances on like 30th and 31st of august like it's quite recent so one female one female came to uh, to us and she said that she has like five children unfortunately she she was like uh, around 27 years old right and she said i have uh, five kids right now and uh, i wish that you have came to me and uh, i wish i had the information earlier so that i can plan the family properly i i i didn't know about the birth spacing i didn't know about the family planning i didn't know about the uh, you know healthcare services and what why my health matters right so she she was quite enriching that uh, she has the information and now she is going to plan the family because she don't want any more children because her health is quite important and if she want to you know uh, give proper time and proper rights to the kids she already has she have to you know think about it secondly she also said that i will going to spread the information to other girls as well so that i may save other girls as well and uh, there was an a guy because uh, 
he was uh, basically uh, he was about to get married so he said that your theater performance uh, and the story you presented is quite connected because i'm going i'm about to marry and uh, it's quite important for males as well right because in our society girls somehow get some you know idea and information from her mothers and sisters but for males uh, no one talk about it right so he said that uh, Yes, I, I learned that family planning is quite important. In our society, people think that family planning education is only for the married couples and married people. But uh, being young and the eligible couple, I should also know about it. And I'm going to tell all the people and all the, uh, you know, groups I'm a part of. So I think these are the quite effective stories from, from the recent. That's, that's really wonderful to hear. So tell me, like, you know, is it also important to kind of link with services available? So, for example, if you're talking about family planning, then, uh, you know, maybe that person also needs to know about the kind of services that are available. And, you know, do you also kind of encourage any kind of referrals yeah. or like that. So that's quite a nice question. And uh, yes, we also invited and in the we invited the you know uh, so healthcare service providers to that open mic sessions as well from that local area, right? So uh, the organization we are working with, they also have some clinics in Pakistan, right? So in both areas, both districts, they also have clinics. So we we invited the doctors and healthcare providers to the. Pro, uh, open my session as well so you, you know they can create the trust as well because as, as i said young people need to trust people uh, healthcare provider as well so we also tried that we also give space time space to the doctor so that they can interact with the participant they can interact with the community that okay i am the healthcare provider in your area you should come to me we are giving services and we are giving counseling on these these issues and if you have any issue you can come to us so we also try to do that yeah Excellent, lovely. So if you can just run us through a bit about how you create a space. So when you go to a community, how do you start working with them? So uh, like uh, for filmmaking, first of all, if I tell, uh, we, we opened a call online, people applied and we conducted the workshop, right? And uh, it was quite it wasn't quite easy because we also tried to engage the people who are from transgender background, who are trans people and uh, who are from different religious minorities as well. So we tried to, you know, uh, uh, to engage young people from marginalized people, marginalized communities. So that's how we conducted the workshop. And uh, for the open mic sessions, we try to engage local leaders, community leaders to engage young people from the uh, very ground areas and very remote areas, right? So as I said, we initiate with the very uh, open discussion, very, you know, um, uh, to talk about the issues they are easily talk, uh, can talk about because uh, we cannot talk directly about the SRHR in community. So we start with human rights, we start with gender uh, disparities in our society, we talk about uh, peace, peace issues in our society, we talk about employment issues in our society, and then we connect with the health issues that healthcare is also important. Mental health is also important. Reproductive health is also important for young people. So that's how we are working. Excellent. Good, right? So what about and, the, uh, I mean, like I understood about the filmmaking that, you know, it's like, so in that sense, it's a safe space. It's not like people are just walking in, right? So when yeah, you do yeah. theater, how does that work? So, uh, well, uh, uh, as you said, it's not open and uh, it's not open for everyone to walk in. And we, we try to, you know, pre-select people and uh, only for invitees, right? And uh, because somehow uh, when, when we do theater, we try to, you know, uh, perform and select a, sp a space which is like safe, which is not ex accessible to everyone because it, it, it could be a bounceable, uh, you know, bounce back thing and all that. So uh, that's how we select people, not directly, but uh, through the support of community leaders, because they also have network, they also have linkages in the community, and participant, uh, uh, participant, participate from different backgrounds, like from different schools, from different colleges, and from different organizations as well. So, yeah. Excellent. That's really wonderful to hear. Uh, any challenges that you find in your work? Um, well, initially, yes. Uh, first of all, as uh, we recently started, so challenge uh, was to structure the team challenge was to you know uh, proper have a communication strategy and all that and uh, to uh, maintain the profile to develop the profile and obviously the funding constraints is also a challenge right for the young initiative and interventions so somehow at the beginning arrow gave us like uh, a couple of small grants 
and uh, through which we were able to get it registered. We were able to, you know, get it proper documented in Pakistan, right? And uh, now we are also uh, working in a, uh, in a, with an organization. It's a small project, but somehow this is how we start. And uh, these are the challenges. And if you talk about uh, thematic areas and uh, community issues, so we already have been working in the area of sexual reproductive health and rights since long. So we, we, we didn't face the major issues as such, but uh, definitely the issues of, uh, you know, uh, having proper spaces, having physical proper space. This is the major challenge for young intervention that we don't have any physical space, right? But we are trying to cop up the issues through virtual connectivity and all that uh, to engage the volunteers and to, you know, engage the team. Yes. Lovely. And you were mentioning you yourself are a theater practitioner. So is that, yes. is that where your, uh, you know, understanding of the power of art come from? Exactly. So I, I attended the first theater workshop in 2012, and which made a, which made me realize that uh, this is the thing and this is the spark I want to have. And uh, using artistic mediums. Um, so first of all, after attending the theater training in 2012, we conducted and uh, I performed different theater performances in different areas of my city on interfaith harmony and HIV AIDS prevention. So I got this, I, I got very positive response for the, from the community that this is quite new and this is quite innovative. So that, you know, uh, that uh, inspired me a lot that this is the thing we really should work on. And uh, because people listen, people connect, people get people basically while watching theater performance people can easily connect with the theater people easily can connect with the story and uh, they can get the you know whole image what are the issues what is the solution and where i stand and how should and how should and where should i go so this is quite impactful and that's why i you know initiated this campaign and i started using artistic medium I do work with different domains as well, like different capacity building trainings and all that. But theater is also the main forte I'm working on. And uh, filmmaking is also because uh, we do watch movies a lot. We do watch uh, short films, documentaries a lot. So again, art mediums is quite impactful. So we started filmmaking. Yeah. So we are also uh, planning to, you know, make musical videos and musical songs so that people can listen and, you know, uh, can uh, get education from as well. Thank you for sharing. So inspiring. Congratulations on the wonderful work you're doing in your community you. and best wishes as you go forward. To everyone listening in, this uh, you, conversation that we had today right now with Joshua is part of a series of conversations we are doing with youth change makers working on innovative initiatives in their communities on sexual and reproductive health and rights. And this is ahead of the regional youth uh, conference that's being held in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, hosted by Arrow. And uh, it's really so wonderful and so inspiring to uh, see people from across uh, the countries of the Asia Pacific doing path breaking work with their communities. Thank you for listening in. And if you uh, would, are more interested in this festival that's happening uh, later this month, you can always uh, look at the Arrow website. Thank you and bye bye for now. Thank you so very much. Bye everyone.